Oh, here we go. My name's Robin Nolan. Oh, switch the metronome off. Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Robin, Robin Nolan, and I'm just jumping on a late night session. It's Saturday night in Amsterdam, and I'm in the kitchen, not out on the town. And I want to show you some crispy chords which you can use in your playing to kind of make the music sound a little bit more crispy. And I'm going to show you some chords on the, on the tune Minor Swing, which is the big jam tune in Gypsy Jazz, and I wanna show you some kind of chords that you can use um, in your solos, which sound really cool. And welcome everybody, uh, people from Paris already in the house. When you join the live, uh, it's great when I know where people are watching from, so just type in where you are and what you're doing, okay? And see if, see if there's some people from exotic lands. Um, if you want help, by the way, with any of this Gypsy Jazz stuff, right, if you want some guided support, then go to the Gypsy Jazz transfusionclub.com. Students are getting big successes over there at the club, and I'd love to help you too. I can, I can give you personal support there. There's all the library of courses to help you with the rhythm and solo. You'll learn the repertoire. There's guest teachers. There's live sessions. It's too much. In this lesson, I'm going to show you some chords on minor swing, okay? So minor swing is the big tune in Gypsy Jazz. You might well know it. I'm going to put the metronome on because that's recently I've realized like how important the, the metronome is. So I'm going to go through the minor swing changes, right? Really simply at first and then add a couple of layers to give you some more crispiness. Uh, good morning, Kevin. Sunrise in Melbourne. Okay, so minor swing. So A minor, two bars, right? D minor, two bars, E7. Basic chords, A minor. Right now we're going to D minor. Hang on to D minor, back to A minor. Now a little B flat and 40 E7. A minor, thanks for the love. Right, this is minor swing changes. I kind of play the rhythm. I play the simple rhythm. with the metronome. It's a good idea. Okay, so they're the basic chords to minor swing, right? You've got basically three chords, A minor, D minor, and E7, right? So little chords you can use in your solos. The first one is... Right? It sounds really... It's really simple to play. It sounds really kind of crispy and juicy. And it's just the A minor 9, so we're just playing it. Right, so you're playing over A minor. Like the rhythm guy is going like. Or maybe using that chord. And you can just go. Right, you can, it kind of, when you play these chords, it can kind of give you a bit of inspiration for your solos. And someone's on a North Sea oil rig with you and your guitar, Dennis. That's great, man. I hope you're keeping safe out there and I hope you can swing it with the guitar. I think that's great. Use the A minor nine, right? This is a really unassuming, really easy chord, right? And it sounds good over the A minor. And obviously when we go to the D minor, we can use the, the same D minor, the same voice in there for the D minor, right? So, and you might get a little lick from it as well. You, you know, let me put the metronome on. And I'll play minor swing using that for the A minor, right? 10th fret for the D minor. 7th fret for the E7. 5th fret for the A minor. D minor, 10th fret. A minor, 5th fret. Kind of sounds... There's the minor swing changes, right? So I could play with that. Keeping it really simple. That 
chord is good for the E7. When you get to the E7, you can kind of just go, right? So, so you got diminished on the sixth fret, and then you just extend the pinky. You kind of get that nice tension there, okay? So A minor, easy, right? Just the A minor nine. Up to D minor. 10th fret, right? D minor nine. For the E7, you can use the B minor nine, which is, right? You can get, there's licks that come out of all these shapes as well, but you can kind of use that B minor nine shape for the E7, right? So A minor, D minor, E7, A minor, up to D minor, A minor. And then at the end, uh, it's nice to kind of go this diminished shape on a six with the pinky up and back to the A minor, okay? So I'll take it through the changes of minor swing. Using a metronome like a good boy to try and keep in time, right? It's all about groove. One, two, A minor, two, three, four. Right, really easy, D minor, right, E7, back to A minor, right, really simple, up to D minor, right, just strumming it, A minor, right, E7, there's that shape, right, right, a little bit of melody, start to you can start to build your solo using those little simple chords um, so I hope that sounds good to everybody let me just read the comments that's a great live Edsel says thanks man I'm glad you think so and Russ says good stuff cheers Russ thanks for stopping by um, if anybody wants help what's the metronome speed it's 160 if anyone wants help with all this stuff, the Gypsy Jazz Fusion Club is where everyone's making real progress, right? You can come there and get personal coaching from me. Um, there's guest teachers. There's all a library of courses for rhythm and soloing. You'll learn the repertoire. There's a whole community of people there. I can't say it enough. If you really want to get serious and learn this music, then go to gypsyjazztransfusionclub.com, okay? Uh, great tips, Ricardo says. Could you talk about the strings? Yeah, these strings are Argentine strings. Ricardo was asking about the strings I'm playing and they are Argentine from Savarez. They're the best. Uh, Gary says, can you show us those pull-offs slowly? Yeah, so pull-offs, I use those quite a lot in my solo. So like, Like, for me, it kind of makes the notes swing. Instead of going, I go. It's kind of exaggerating, but that's a little bit about the uh, pull-offs. Hi from Nottingham. Welcome, Leslie. Yeah, cheers, Dennis. So just to keep it concentrated in this little lesson, because uh, it can go on forever, right? There's, there's a lot of topics in this music, but I just wanted to show you these little crispy chords, which are kind of unassuming, but you can really base your solos out of these little shapes, right? So A minor, you've got that, right? These are 11s, that's right, Argentine 11s, right? D minor, and then for that E7, interesting, right? Even Django in his solo, he did this lick, right, over E7 using B minor. Um, yeah, cheers, Luis. Cheers, Ricardo. Yeah, you're all welcome. This is great. It's my job, actually. I actually get up in the morning and think about how I can help people play this music. Because I started playing rock and blues and all that kind of stuff and Beatles and Stones. And I fell in love with this stuff. And, you know, 
I just want to show other people how fun it can be, really. So that's my whole mission. If you want help with it, go to gypsyjazztransfusionclub.com, right? Go there. I can coach you personally. You can get all the lessons to learn the rhythm, learn how to solo, learn the songs in a really fun way, and join the community, right? It's really cool. People are really making big improvements over at the club, and there's a link in the description. Um, hi from Belgium. Yeah, Misko. So let's put the metronome back on. Also, I really advise using a metronome, even if, if you're just on your own and you're just kind of playing. So if I was playing minor swing, I would kind of just go through the chords first, like one, a two, a one, two, three, All right, A minor, D minor. you the pulse which you can kind of play lead lines over to practice through the changes or you can practice your rhythm you know when you practice your rhythm with the metronome it can be really revealing it can be uh, you want to kind of tell it to shut up because you think you're more in time than the metronome but of course we all know that the metronome's in time um hey Abe all the best mate Misko yeah Misko from Belgium okay so if I was practicing rhythm with the metronome again keeping it really simple Two, one, two, three, four. D minor, E seven. Got to try and lock it. solo and kind of showing you that you can kind of build solos out of those little shapes that you learn you know that you kind of these crispy chords that I'm talking about if you want more crispy chords and crispy chords to all the songs then definitely come over to the Gypsy Jazz Transfusion Club right it's full of goodness and I think you'll love the whole experience there um, this is Saturday night in Amsterdam by the way where are you watching from and send the love I haven't seen a love heart for ages and I'm starting to get upset so welcome Jill, welcome Woody. Um, I'm showing you a couple of crispy chords. It's endless, right? The more you know, the more you realize that you don't know. So it's a journey that we're all on and we're all at different places, but it's my mission to help players like yourself to kind of get into this stuff. And the way to do that is to come over to the Gypsy Jazz Transfusion Club, right? Hey, I can't say your name, Daria. Hey, Daria. And hey, Ricardo from El Paso in the middle of the day there, 3.15, right? Welcome, Edsel from Orlando, welcome. Yeah, Orlando, Florida, wow. Zagreb, Darius in Zagreb. I played in Zagreb at Bosco's Club once, that was great, right? Okay, let's keep our eye on the ball. We're looking at crispy chords. Uh, Joe says, I bought a Gitan D500, would you say the neck? Should be, uh, let me try and see if I can see that message more. Don't worry too much about oval or D-hole, really. It's just, it's just aesthetics, just the way it looks. Um, welcome from Valencia, Mark. Thanks from New Hampshire. Misko Yen, help my bro. 
Okay, everything's good, brother. Right, so crispy chords, right? Minor swing. Right, welcome, Isaac. Great to see you, brother. Minor swing, just practice in mode, right? This is, this is what we can do. Metronome, good idea, for sure. It's harder than you think to keep in time. Right, minor swing. Right, down a D minor. Right, you can feel the groove. E minor, with that B minor shape. A minor. D minor, back to A minor. Nothing wrong with that one. <laughs> B flat. There's a great lick for A minor, right? So you got the A minor shape here, right? Welcome Norway in the house. Welcome Odd, welcome Alexander. Right, so A minor. Right, so there's the A minor six or whatever it's called, but that shape, right? So you barred it on the 10th fret, then you got that's A minor, and you slide up to it, right? Yeah, Misko. And then you go, using that melody for that, that, that chord there, then A minor, so it's all over A minor, you're just going, one, two, three. That's one lick, right? Right, and if I put it in context, Thinking about minor swing. One, two, three. D minor, right? There we go. D minor, right? A minor. Right, there it is again. B flat. A minor. in time with the metronome. So there's a really cool lick, that. But uh, Misko says yes. Yeah, hey guys, I'm gonna jump off. I just wanted to show you a couple of crispy chords. It's late night here in Amsterdam. And if you want more help with this stuff, if you want me to actually kind of be your online guitar teacher, then come to Gypsy Jazz Transfusion Club and you'll get access to all the courses, the course library for rhythm, for soloing, for all these crispy chords. You'll learn the repertoire. There's guest teachers, there's live sessions with me, and there's a whole community of people helping each other. I'd love for you to join the club. So you just gotta to go to that gypsyjazztransfusionclub.com and I'll see you there. So I'm gonna get off, lots of love, uh, keep it crispy, um, and love you all, okay? And see you soon, okay? See you at the club.